Hey, good morning. It's Joel Walsman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric. I've got a new toy to share with you today. I'm gonna to put it atop this rusty old mule and I'll show you that here in a moment. So I've got the old mule down here. This thing is a real firecracker and sometimes it sounds exactly like that. See, when I was an apprentice, we had a generator just like this. It was red too, it was an old stinker. It took three hands to start. One, to tink on the hammer. Two, to spray the uh, starter fluid in. Three, for the throttle and actually, <laughs> for one to pull the cord. It was a bugger and if you did all that just right with perfect timing, that kit would just purr to life with a big plume of black smoke, kind of the equivalent of smoking eight diesel cigarettes in under 60 seconds. It was a gem, pure gem. But now we've got the Edeker M2000 solar generator and I actually made pancakes on this baby this morning to just try it out. Saturday morning pancakes, except it's not Saturday and we're using a battery. That's right, 1500 watt griddle running off the battery. Yes. This is like a prelude to camping. Do you sleep in your bed all night? Yeah. Didn't come into mommy and daddy's bed? No. You get a sucker. Yes. Thanks, Edeker. Yeah. We're ready to go camping now. This is the trial run. Well, the last pancake is coming off the griddle. And after a triple batch, we're still at 76%. Boom. There it is, nicely boxed everything you could ever want in a portable power generator. Anderson connector, 12 volt DC format. Like it, so you can connect this booger to your car and charge it up that way. Ooh, the MC4 inputs. Yeah, your male and female MC4 connectors for your solar. I'm gonna show you that to Anderson format. It's a nice cord with decent length. There's a power cord, standard format, 110, 120 volts, 15 amp. 60 hertz, well boxed. Now, one of the things that surprised me most about this, it's compact size. We've got quite a few solar generators sitting on the shelf that we deploy to job sites every day. The guys love them, they eat them up. This generator never goes anywhere anymore. We've got stable on the tank and nothing but. However, check this out. 2,000 running watts? This burger so small. 2,008.8 watt hour capacity, 2,000 running watts, and it's, it's fractional. This thing is fractional. It is half the size of its peers. That is the first thing that I noticed. I'm so impressed. Let's fire it up and check out the features. Let me stress the point. We've got dozens of electricians on the team and the consumer preference of the electrical professional is no longer the generator. We supply a battery on each job where there's gonna be a power outage, one for the team and one for the customer, if the premise is occupied. This is seen as a great advantage. Customers have had no end of thanks. And so we're equipping the entire fleet with these larger scale portable battery systems. The solar generator is the way to go. It can be stored indoors, it's quiet, it's clean. This is a semi-solid state lithium battery, gallium nitride. It'll charge faster and it has improved energy density. I've got to agree, because this thing is definitely smaller and lighter weight than its counterparts. There is no question. There's been a strength improvement. This is an aluminum housing that helps dissipate heat, but also keeps this sucker safe. The last thing you want to do is penetrate a lithium battery while it's riding around in the back of your truck because it tipped over or something fell on top of it. So this is a definite rugged and durable housing. IP63 water and dust protection. That means you're covered, bro. If this thing sits in the rain, or even if it gets hit by water at less than 60 degrees from vertical, you're good against liquids and solids. I wanna highlight that this has a 2008 watt hour capacity. That's fantastic for its size. 1400 watt max input, 2000 watt max output, a five year warranty, a fantastic range of operating temperatures. Like, fantastic. It's a boss. The overview of the control center is this. Basic on-off button, beautiful LED screen. You've got a USB on-off, four USB-A, two USB-C. Absolutely what you need. This is your 12 volt inputs right here. You've got your Anderson, your barrel plugs, and your traditional vehicle format. Now moving to the bottom, we have again, an on-off button to enable and disable this function. We have six plugs here. 
2,000 watt capacity per pair. That is phenomenal. Here's the back of the battery. You've got the two cooling fans. You've got your AC extend, which I'll show you in a minute. That's super cool. And then your AC input with overload protection. So if for some reason you just max this baby out and overdraw it, there's the button. I will have to say though, 2,000 watts of power delivery is my preferred, and this sucker has it. Okay. Up top, we've got the LED light. Touch and hold to enable. Woo, it's bright. Tap to change. Oh, it's brilliant. Tap and hold off. I've got to show you this feature I'm really excited about. It's the energy router. That's right, each Edeker M2000 can combine its output to 4,000 watts. 240 volts at 17 amps max with four additional plugs, each fully rated. Some of the battery revolution skeptics out there have been saying, but that generator throws a ton more juice. Well, actually, these two babies, half the size, just as much power. I'm genuinely impressed. Let's connect. With our connections made, our unit's on. We're gonna turn on the AC output and we've got verification. The extend light showed up. Let's put it to the test. And here, my friends, is our 13 amp Super Hog. Betsy is a beast. Let's see if Edeker can run it. See how the unit recalculates the running power, running time remaining, and provides user information so that you don't run out of juice. I've got one more thing to show you here. Yes! This is what makes it a solar generator. Let's try it on for size, see what it can do. Tim and I have set the solar panels up on the integrated kickstand to improve power production on this cloudy day in late fall. And sure enough, it's producing some energy, but if you don't have direct sunlight, full brilliance, eh, it's a little bit weak. Man, these rubber grips right here are surprisingly comfortable. There's something about the e-taker that feels a little bit like a Mac tower, honestly. It's pretty great. I love the integrated kickstand that comes with each solar panel. These are 210 watt solar panels, 10 amps a piece. You can connect them in series to increase your voltage or parallel to increase your amperage. You can charge one unit, two units. It's a really great setup. And you don't even have to step foot outdoors. If you've got a nice big picture window, bright sunny day, you could put this inside your home without going in the cold and be adding power back. Now there is an efficiency reduction for solar irradiance passing through glass, but you will be producing energy. Here in Indiana on an overcast day with one panel connected, we're at about 10% of the rated capacity of this solar panel. But outside on a crisp cold day, because PV silicon loves the cold, this booger could produce above its nameplate rating, meeting 220, 230, 240 watts, and it's IP67 rated. Boom! One thing to note is that the MC4 connectors here are a standard industry format. We are connecting two sets of solar panels in series here. It's literally that simple. The input of one to the output of the other and back to the e-taker. The e-taker has a 1000 watt solar input capacity. By combining any solar panels on the market and the MC4 connectors, which are nearly a universal format, you can expand your solar capacity, improve your runtime, decrease your charge time, and live happily ever after. The top advantages of this little sucker are its durability, its density, its power input and output capacity. It has all the capability to run a job site, provide the convenience that you need in a solar generator. Hey, if you're looking for a solar and electric energy contractor in the state of Indiana or nearby, Jefferson Electric specializes in energy storage and generation of multiple kinds. If you're looking for a gallium nitride, portable beast of a power packed solar generator, check the description. Edeker, thanks for sponsoring this video. We appreciate you bringing us more opportunity and subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money.